By definition, sepsis is a life-threatening organ dysfunction caused by a dysregulated immune response to an infection. Microorganisms manage to intrude into and grow within the body, causing a fierce reaction of the patient's immune system that ultimately causes organ failure and leads to death in approximately 30% of all cases. For treatment, antimicrobials are administered intravenously. The effect of the antimicrobial depends on the nature of the causative microorganism. If patients receive the right antimicrobial therapy within the first hours of symptom onset, the chances of survival are close to 80%. Chances go down by 7.6% for every hour of delay. In fact, sepsis kills more than 18 million individuals worldwide, which is more than all deaths caused by prostate, breast cancer and HIV AIDS added together. Currently, the identification of sepsis-causing microorganisms relies mostly on microbiological culturing. The mean time of this method is 48 hours, but for some microorganisms it can take a few more days or they cannot be cultured at all. If sepsis is not diagnosed, patients can die within hours. Therefore, sepsis experts strongly recommend focusing on the early identification of the sepsis-causing microorganisms. I would say that an easy and sensitive and fast and specific uh, test for using uh, directly on whole blood for testing our pathogens, that would really help uh, the diagnostics of these patients. And the use of antibiotics also would be uh, reduced if you could use a test like that and also the use of broad-spectrum antibiotics. In fact, the WHO gave the diagnosis of sepsis and its accurate early treatment global health priority status in 2017. Besides the human tragedy, sepsis incurs billions of additional healthcare costs and limits the advances of modern medicine. In the EU project Smart On Us, we have developed a test that reduces the time from blood sample to results to three hours. Currently this takes 48 hours. One big challenge is the low amount of microorganisms in blood. So, we were looking for ways how to feed microorganisms, getting rid of the blood components. The analytic method has to be very sensitive without compromising speed and ease of use. For that, we have also developed micro-optical substructures for an optical readout for a point-of-care test cartridge. This is not only very sensitive, but also extremely cost-efficient. For easy of use and multiplexing, in the Smart Dynode project, we developed a new detection technology solid fit PCR that can detect many microorganisms in parallel. During the project, we also looked at new promising biomarkers like microRNA for even earlier indications of sepsis. Even good products can fail on the market. Together with Copenhagen Business School, we have designed and are now implementing business strategies. As a result, the CubeDx test for the early identification of more than 100 sepsis-causing bacteria, resistance marker genes and fungi directly from blood delivers results in less than three hours. For the first step, the depletion of human cells, blood is added to a moderate lysis buffer. Human cells and compromised microorganisms are lysed and transferred into the supernatant during the following centrifugation step. After discarding the supernatant, a harsh lysis buffer is added to the remaining pellet and the microorganisms are lysed. Subsequent DNA purification can be done with any commercial DNA purification kit. The preparation for compact sequencing is easy. The eluate with purified DNA is filled into the ready-to-use PCR mixes and PCR is started. 
During the asynchronous amplification process of bacterial 16S rDNA or fungal 28S rDNA, the strands are fluorescently labeled by the reverse primers. The PCR results in single-stranded and fluorescence-labeled amplicons. Identification starts with the hybridization of these labeled single-stranded amplicons to immobilized probes on the hybe cell surface. In the event of perfect 3' complementarity, the immobilized probes are extended as a result of hot start polymerase activity. These extended probes remain associated even at high temperatures, while non-extended duplexes are removed during a washing step. Finally, the hybe cell is scanned and the presence of microorganisms is analyzed and summarized in a compact report. Our technology is scalable and versatile. Currently, we are testing blood for sepsis causing microorganisms. But we are extending the usage for suspected endocarditis, for implant and tissue infections, or simply to test positive blood cultures. This tremendous reduction in time from 48 hours to 3 hours saves lives, shortens ICU stays, and limits long term health impairment of survivors. So, not only do the patients benefit, so also do the hospitals and healthcare payers. Sepsis is a killer. Let's fight it together. Sepsis is a killer. Let's fight it together.